This is the installation guide for the Lunos E squared heat recovery ventilation system from 475 High Performance Building Supply. Let's dive right in. Lunos E squared fans operate in pairs. You'll notice identical boxes for each fan. Components include an interior grill with filter, a 12 volt DC transformer and universal controller, a gray tube containing the heat recovery fan unit, an exterior grill, and temporary tube covers for use during construction. Directions in English are also included. Note that depending on your order, the contents of your box may vary. Only one transformer and controller are needed per pair of fans. Multiple fan pairs can be installed on one controller. There are two sizes of fans that you may have received, standard fans and short fans. Short fans are 6 and 3 quarters inches in length and operate at 84% efficiency. Standard fans are 9 and 3 quarters inches in length and operate at 90.6% efficiency. Apart from length and efficiency, installation and operation of each fan type is identical. Along with the Lunos E squared components, you'll need a wire stripper, Phillips and flathead screwdrivers, some with especially small heads, a sharp razor, a handsaw or miter saw, power supply wire, low voltage wire, switches, we recommend two low voltage rocker switches, a switch box capable of containing your switches along with the Lunos transformer and controller, and finally a means to maintain an airtight seal around the installed Lunos components. We recommend using a Roflex 150 airtight gasket along with Tescon Vanna tape, each available separately from 475.com. Before we begin, note that any work involving live wires should be done with the utmost precaution. Breakers should be turned off at the electrical box, and work should be done under the supervision of a licensed professional electrician. Now we're ready to begin installation on our model wall, which has been pre-assembled with the Proclima airtight system. Begin by creating an opening for the E-squared to be installed. This requires cutting through each layer of your wall to the exterior, creating a hole large enough for the 6.3 inch diameter gray tube. Next, measure and cut your tube to fit the depth of the wall, making sure to leave enough room for the fan unit to rest inside with at least one inch to spare. If minimum tube length is more than the total depth of the wall, we suggest locating the protruding side on the interior of the wall and furring drywall into the interior. This keeps the heat recovery core inside the thermal envelope. Place the tube into the opening and apply the Roflex 150 or equivalent air sealing gasket. Make sure the tube rests at a slight downward angle to allow any future condensation to drain to the exterior. Apply Tescon Vanna airtight tape to seal the gasket to the air barrier and complete the tube installation. At this point in the process, you may want to attach the temporary tube covers to prevent any construction debris from collecting inside. Prepare for installation of the transformer and controller by locating and attaching your switch box. Run the power supply line to the box. We suggest doing this within the service cavity of your wall or in such a way that accounts for the air tightness of your assembly. In this case, the switch box is secured completely outside the Intello Plus airtight membrane. First, we'll install the transformer. Remove the cap and keep it nearby. You'll need this again later. Strip and ready your power supply wire and loosen the screws on the transformer. Insert hot, neutral, and ground wires to corresponding connections. Then tighten with a Phillips head screwdriver. Now cut a short length of low voltage wire to go from the transformer to the controller. Insert appropriate lines into V negative and V positive. Then tighten in place. The transformer is now ready. Snap the wire cap back on the top of the transformer. Next, find the Lunos controller. Notice the small gray switch located on the back side. This coding switch determines the program and flow rate of the E-squared system. 
consult your directions to determine which program and flow rate is appropriate for your building, and move the coding switch to the corresponding number. Using a small screwdriver to press down the release tab, insert the 12 volt DC power supply line into the negative and positive ports, as labeled at the top of the controller unit. We're now ready to run power supply to each fan. Cut and strip lengths of 12 volt DC power supply line long enough to reach from the controller to each one of your fans. The ports for the first fan are positive, negative, and signal line 1. Then again for fan 2, positive, negative, and signal line 2. Insert the wires just as you did for the last controller ports. If you are installing multiple pairs of fans, wires leading to each fan must be joined and inserted in equal numbers to the first set of fan ports and to the second set of fan ports in very much the same way. To connect the wire to the fan, find and remove the connector plug. Using a small screwdriver, insert and attach the power and signal wires coming from the controller. The signal line goes to the fan's purple wire, the negative to the fan's blue wire, and the positive to the fan's red wire. Once tightened, simply plug in to connect. Make a small notch on the edge of the gray tube using your razor to make room for the line leading out to the controller. Now you're ready to fit the fan and wire in place in the tube. Adjust the fan and wire as needed. Next we connect the wall switches. The choice of switch is up to you, but we recommend using two low voltage rocker switches connected by a wire. On the controller, identify the switch wires, black, gray, and red, and note the LED filter indicator light. The left switch, as viewed from the front, is the first switch. Connect the black controller wire to the top terminal of this first switch. Now the red controller wire to the bottom terminal of the same switch. Finally, connect the gray controller wire to the bottom terminal of the second switch. Please consult diagrams in your instructions for further details. Now fit all components of the transformer, controller, and switches into the switch box. The LED filter indicator glows when it's time to clean or change your Lunos E squared filter. You may want to adjust the LED to ensure the glow can be seen through the faceplate after installation. The interior grill simply slides into place, with the removable, cleanable filter resting in a slot just inside. The grill faceplate has two positions. Attached upright, the vent is open. Flip upside down and attach to close the vent. The final component is the exterior grill. It attaches to the gray tube with two brackets, which are tightened into place. With that, the installation of your Lunos E squared is complete. You're now ready to power on, test the system, and enjoy the benefits of continuous ventilation with heat recovery. For any questions or comments, or to purchase related products such as Lunos pollen filters, please contact us through our website or by calling 800-995-6329.